Hello and welcome. First things first, I would love to wish all of you a happy new year. Uh, we're moving into 2023. Uh, lots of exciting things in store, I'm sure, this year for all of us. Uh, it's always nice to kind of put a year behind us, look back on the year, uh, some of the things we did good, some of the things we could have improved on, but I always kind of like the end of the year for reflection and whatnot. And then as you can see behind me, next to me, that is, I have a huge stack. This is going down to like where my lap is on the table of movies, TV shows, and other movie-related things I want to show off for my haul this month. I saved it because I wanted to wait until after the holidays were over. I was traveling, so it's a little bit late as far as regular haul videos go, but I have a ton of stuff I want to show off. I'm going to try and be respectful of your time and get through this as efficiently as possible, but I have a lot of stuff that I'm really excited to show off between TV shows, Blu-rays, some stuff I picked up, some stuff I got from uh, family, presents, all that kind of stuff. So really looking forward to showing off all this stuff. This is the biggest haul I've ever done on the channel. I have about 50 different movies and seasons of TV shows to go through, as well as some other movie-related stuff. So with all that out of the way, thank you for checking this video out, and we'll get started right after this. Welcome once again, my name is Austin, and this channel is all about helping you to dig deeper and go further to better understand faith and film and everything that's in between. If that sounds exciting to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future content. So I have a lot of movies to go through here, so real quick, I'm going to go through some non-movie stuff to show off. I have uh, the next step in my upgrade that I'm putting in really soon in the next month uh, for my sound system. So I got uh, from my parents a... Um, it's an audio cable for connecting my subwoofer to my receiver. And then my sister got me this really cool book. Uh, it's an elven cookbook, but it's recipes inspired by the elves of Tolkien. So it's it's a really cool cookbook. It's got some neat artwork in it. And it is it is really cool to see like there's like light, light meals, drinks, desserts, like a jelly, all that kind of stuff. So just really cool, neat little recipes uh, based off of Lord of the Rings and Tolkien's lore. So uh, even if I don't make all of these, it's going to be a really cool book to just kind of like show people and flip through. I really enjoyed it myself and we passed it around the room at Christmas as well. Besides that, a friend, oh, she also got me this t-shirt. It's a Stranger Things t-shirt from season three. Um, so it's got like all different stuff from season three on it. It's really cool. She got it at the local fair uh, this past summer for me. So it's kind of like a custom shirt where you pick the pattern and the shirt color and then put it together. So I really like it. It's a really soft, really comfortable shirt. So thank you again to my sister for that. And then a friend of mine, so a friend of mine surprised me with Dr. Squatch soaps, and he got me some movie collection ones. I had no idea he was doing this for me. He's just like, oh, by the way, I got a Christmas present for you. Didn't really know what to expect. Cool. And then he pulls out this box that has three of these Dr. Squatch sample gift sets. So he got me the one for the Batman, which has... Um, the Batman Brick scent, the Riddler Enigma scent. So really cool, uh, really cool cases to keep the stuff in. And then uh, I'm going to like display these even besides the soaps. I've never tried Dr. Squatch, always wanted to. And then he got me one of the Star Wars ones that has a Yoda one, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan, and Darth Maul. And then another Star Wars one that is Luke Skywalker, Emperor Palpatine, um... Ray's character and then Kylo Ren as well. So just a hugely thoughtful gift that I did not expect at all. And can't wait to check out the soaps as well as display these boxes in the movie room. So that's movie related stuff that I got. Uh, so let's jump into this absolutely massive stack. There is a rhyme or reason for it. I'll try and break it down as best I can. First, right off the top here, I started watching Dragon Ball. Uh, this was the cheapest way to watch it, just go and buy the DVDs. I got these off of eBay through a seller, selling them brand new for like, I think it was $35 or $40 for all five seasons. So I've only opened season one so far, but it also came with season two, season three, four, and season five. So I'm really enjoying the show so far. I'm about halfway through the first season, really loving it. I was debating between watching this one or just jumping right into Z. I'm glad I'm watching this one to kind of get that background. It's been a really fun watch so far. So can't wait to continue on that series. And then I also picked up for myself the original How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's a classic. I got to show it to my son. He actually watched some of it, which was cool. Uh, he's about a year old or so, so he didn't really pay attention, but he paid attention enough for me to feel good about it. So I hadn't seen this since I was a kid, but it's one I wanted in my collection and really enjoyed watching it and showing it to him. 
Then this is a present I got from my mom and my dad. Uh, this is Planet Earth 2 on 4K. I've heard that the uh, BBC stuff documentary wise looks fantastic and sounds great on 4K. And I love this series, so it's one I wanted to check out. So once I get those new speakers in, that's definitely gonna be one of my demo discs. Besides that, um, I've had seasons one through four of Rick and Morty for a year or so now, and I just needed season five. My brother was at the Mega Replay that I've talked about um, a couple of times on the channel, and he found uh, they were having a half-off sale, which awesome stuff. <laughs> for, so he got some great deals for himself too, but they had the season one through five set half off. It was like 15 bucks, which is cheaper than me just buying season five. So I got this and I'm going to sell my season uh, one through four set to a friend of mine and ends up pretty much breaking even for me. So that works out really good. Um, so glad he found that for me. I paid him for it. But then we have, um, before I jump into all these, a lot of these next ones coming up. So my wife's uncle is a collector as well, but he recently switched to collecting digitally. So he invited me over to pick out any of his movies that I wanted that he already had on digital. So he pulled out this box of at least a hundred or so movies for me to go through. I took a lot of them for myself as well as my brother, my dad, my brother-in-law. So, um, Pretty much all of these here are from him. I'll note if it's not, but I picked up a lot of stuff that I haven't seen before, so I'm really excited. I set up a section on my shelving collection of movies that I haven't seen from it so that when I'm in the mood to watch something I haven't seen, I don't have to go through my entire collection to pick it out. I'm just ready to go. So starting off, we have Ben-Hur and the Ten Commandments. I haven't seen either of these. Really looking forward to checking those out. And then we have the movie Sideways. I've never seen it. They said it was a really funny comedy, so I wanted to check that one out. We have RoboCop, another one that I have not seen. I've been wanting to for a long time. Raging Bull, I have seen this one. I watched it in a film class in college and really liked it. Wanted to go back and check it out again. Lawrence of Arabia, another classic that I've been wanting to watch and have not seen before. Um, Inside Lewin Davis, I've not seen this one either, but I really like Oscar Isaac. And um, it's always been an interesting movie sounding. And then it's by the Coen brothers too. So I'm sure it's really great one I wanted to check out. This is one my wife wanted. And I do like, would like to prosper. I'd probably like to check this one out too. It's the girl on the train, um, which reminds me actually, uh, I missed one. Also, Gone Girl. I have seen this one, not seen Girl on the Train. Uh, but that's another new one to the collection from my wife's uncle. Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. Haven't seen this one. It's a classic war movie I'm ashamed I haven't seen. The Fighter. This is one of my brother's favorite movies, one I've been wanting to see for a while. I've not seen it before. Fight Club. Another one I haven't seen, so that one's on the, the not seen shelf. Dances with Wolves. Another one. Haven't seen this one before either, so lots of great stuff that I get to check out for the first time. Birdman. Another one. I love the red case on here. Haven't seen that one before. Best in Show. I had not even heard of this one before. They said it was really good uh, and it was a fun comedy. So looking forward to checking that one out too. Apollo 13, another one I haven't seen. See, there's a lot of classic movies you just never get around to. American Gangster. I mean, I love Denzel Washington. I love Russell Crowe. So looking forward to checking that one out for the first time. I never heard of this one either. It's Across the Universe. I think it has to do with Beatles. Yeah, the Beatles music. I never really listened to the Beatles, but I love movies that kind of revolve around music. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out. This is another one my brother found at the Mega Replay and got for a good deal for me. So I paid him for that. I ended up getting this for two bucks at the Mega Replay. TMNT. I have the other live action Ninja Turtle movies from the 90s that I just grew up watching and love. And that was actually one that I remember being a pretty good movie when it came out. Um, whenever that was 2007. Uh, so it's one I've been wanting to pick up, and you can't beat $2. Uh, some more, getting back into more from my wife's uncle, uh, the Sing movie. I really like Sing 1 and Sing 2, so now I just got to get Sing 2. Secret Life of Pets. I really liked this one. I never saw the second one. And then we got Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2. I uh, just need to get the third one now for that and have the whole trilogy. Another one my mom and dad got me, a uh, childhood movie that we watched all the time, was Barnyard. I love this movie. I had fun with that one growing up. This is one I got for my wife. I think I talked about it in my November haul, but didn't share the title, but I got it for her as a stocking gift, and that's Where the Crawdads Sing. She saw this one earlier this year. Well, last year now, because it's 2023, and she really liked it. She, her, and a friend went to see it together, so I wanted to check it out as well. Um, when Harry Met Sally, another one from my wife's uncle. Haven't seen that one before. 
The Way Back, a gift from my mom and dad. I really like this movie. A little Easter egg for you within my collection. Half the reason I wanted this movie, even though I really like it, is because now I have The Way Back and The Way Way Back, and they get to sit on the shelf together and seem like they're sequel and prequel to each other, even though they are not. So a little fun Easter egg for my collection that I'm happy to have. So another one from my parents, Spencer. Uh, this is one of my wasn't one of my favorite movies from 2021, but it's one I really liked. I loved Christian Stu Christ Kristen Stewart's performance in this one. I thought the tone and the mood of this movie was just great. It was haunting. It felt like you're watching a horror movie, even though it was just a drama. I knew nothing about the story or Princess Diana, kind of all of that. And I know a lot of those events in this movie are speculated, but I love the movie and it's one I wanted to have in the collection. So asked for that one from them and got it. We got That Thing You Do with Tom Hanks. This is one I checked out a couple years ago for the first time from my wife's aunt and uncle. The, um, I got it from them, but I really liked it. Stand By Me. I just watched this one a few years ago for the first time. A few years, a few months ago for the first time. Really liked that movie. Shutter Island, one I watched in the past year or so. Fantastic thriller. Uh, another one from my wife's uncle. Okay, yeah, we got more. I'm going to keep clarifying because these are all over the place. And then we got The Princess Bride, classic, another one from the family. Top Gun Maverick. I finally picked this one up for myself for the collection on 4K. Uh, we were in Connecticut visiting my family, and none of them had seen Top Gun Maverick yet, but they really wanted to. So I drove over to Walmart, got the last copy they had, and it came with a slipcover, which is nice. So got to show that to them. They thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. This is a repick up for me, but it's from my wife's uncle, and that's True Grit. Um, for some reason, I had this in my collection and decided to get rid of it and regretted it afterwards. So, go happy to get that one back for free, thanks to the kindness of the donation. Training Day, one that I checked out a year or so ago for the first time. Really enjoyed it, also from my wife's uncle. And then The Revenant, another one I regret getting rid of. I picked this up at a Best Buy a few years ago for like $4. Decided to get rid of it for some reason. So thankfully got it back through that. And then Godzilla. This is one I'd like to upgrade to 4K at some point. But for now, I'm happy to have it on Blu-ray. Limitless. I really enjoy this movie. I think it's a really fun concept. Cool sci-fi. Um, another one from my wife's uncle. This is one from my sister. It's a 4K upgrade I wanted to get, and that is The Martian. So definitely going to be checking this one out once I get that new sound system, and especially once I get it all the way up to Atmos. That's going to be awesome. This is another upgrade through my wife's uncle, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I already have all the Marvel movies, but I'm always happy to upgrade one of them to 4K for a super, super good deal. And then lastly, from my wife's uncle, we have the movie Westworld. This is the original one from 1973, not the new series that HBO has. Um, written and directed by Michael Crichton, so, you know, Jurassic Park and stuff. But I've seen this one once, and I remember liking it quite a bit, so I wanted to check it out again and again. Easy, cheap way to get it in the collection. And then my parents were getting rid of some movies, and they were getting rid of this Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring DVD uh, the special edition. Uh, I'd want to get all of these in the collection because I want to have each format of Lord of the Rings. So I have the 4Ks, I got the regular Blu-rays, you know, the Blu-ray special edition. So now starting to get the DVD special editions. So now I just need the last two. So, I mean, as you can kind of see over there, maybe. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Big old huge stack of movies. So that puts my shelves pretty much to the brim over here. So it's a good thing I took all the ones I haven't seen off to add to the not watched shelf. I do need to upgrade these shelves to something bigger at some point. But once we get these speaker things out of the way, then I'll go ahead and do that. So super thankful for everyone who contributed to the collection this month, being different family and friends and stuff. I'm so thankful for all the things that were given to me through gifts. I'm really excited to be able to show it off here and share because just like I said, an absolutely massive haul for this month. So really looking forward to moving into the new year and all that it's going to bring. Thank you for checking this video out. I'm sure it ended up being a little longer than most of my normal hauls, but I had a lot of stuff to share this month. So thanks for sticking around to the end. I will see you in the next one.